What is up my D&D family? Today I have a build for you, the Eldritch Arsenal. The Eldritch Arsenal is all about being a damage blaster, but does a surprising amount of control along with it. Let's jump into it. In order to play the Eldritch Arsenal like a gentle fart, you are going to be a small air genasi. The small portion is important, but we'll jump into that later. We're going to be going all of our levels into Warlock, and we're going to be taking the Undead Warlock. This is mainly because it allows our Eldritch Blast to cause fear, as well as do some extra damage later down the road. That's going to be doing everything we want to do, more damage and fearing people. As for our stats, we're going to be going into Charisma as our dominant primary, then comes Constitution, then as much as we can in Dexterity to round out our AC. As for our Invocations, we're going to be taking Agonizing Blast to increase our damage output, surprising no one, Agonizing Blast is incredible, but we're also going to be taking Investment of the Chainmaster and going Pact of Chain. This is going to give us our Sprite. Now unlike most familiars, we're not using this for exploring so much as we're using this for combat. What the Sprite does for us is if they fail their save against it, which is going to be our spell save DC, and they're poisoned for the whole fight. No save. They're done. They're poisoned the whole time. It's brutal. And if they somehow manage to roll five or lower on their con save, then they're just unconscious as well as poisoned. Brutal conditions, and I wouldn't rely on the unconscious one very much, but getting that poison condition spread around is going to be very powerful. So now we have two ways to spread conditions. With our Eldritch Blast, we can spread fear, and with our Pixie, we can spread poison. Now I'll also be taking the Mind Sliver Cantrip, because that combines super well with our Pixie. Now we can cast Mind Sliver on someone and shoot them with our pixie and now they're going to have a minus d4 to their save that potentially makes them poisoned for an entire minute so they're going to be stuck being poisoned that whole time fantastic for completely debilitating marshals especially rogues rogues who are poisoned are going to have a very difficult time attempting to sneak attack so we counter them fairly hard now as for our spells just kind of do whatever you want do normal warlock things do hex you know summon shadow spawn summon undead if you want to have someone who can shoot along with you and your pixie so you have a big ranged back line but where we really can commit to a spell type is once we get summon aberration. What we're going to do is we're going to summon a beholderkin. Because we're small, we can jump on the back of that beholderkin and fly around. So now we are a flying eldritch blasting with our pixie. So we have three people in our unit who are all doing this ranged attacks. It's going to do great damage and it's going to debilitate our enemies as well. Air Genasi is perfect for this because not only are we small, we also have feather fall. So when you inevitably fall out of the sky, you have your reaction to give yourself feather fall to keep yourself alive. So it's actually really important that we went to Erjanasi. And speaking of Erjanasi, Levitate is fantastic with our playstyle. Now we can't do it with our Beholderkin, but what we can do is pick up an enemy and us and our Pixie can blast them while they can't do anything, especially if they only have melee options. And finally, Shocking Grasp gives us a way to disengage without having to use our full action to disengage. So long story short, the Erjanasi just works perfect with this build. Now once we get our flying speed, we're also going to want to grab the Grasp of Hadar Invocation, because this allows us to fly over, directly over an enemy, and then pick them 10 feet up off the ground, which is going to add a d6 of falling damage and then knock them prone as well. So now we're poisoning, knocking people prone, and fearing groups. And then we have excellent turn by turn damage. And we're, of course, we're going to have whatever spells you want to mix into that playstyle, but that is the core playstyle here. As for our weaknesses, we don't want to be toe to toe combat. Close combat is definitely not our forte and we want to avoid that as much as possible. As well as wisdom saves can be a real problem for us, so after we maximize charisma, I'd definitely consider picking up resilient wisdom. And that is the Eldritch Arsenal, but what I want to hear from you guys is, how you doing? I want to hear something good going on in your life. Leave in a comment just like something awesome going on in your life. I'd love to hear it. If you want to show support to the channel as well as get some awesome benefits along the way, consider checking out our Patreon. But with that, my friends, I hope you have yourselves an incredible day and I'll catch you on the next one. See you then.